nine against the Toronto Maple Leafs away. Quick note, that brings our record to 8-0-1 against the Leafs in the last nine games. But before we get into the game, I, I want to reach out to the Maple Leaf fans. Look, it was, it was a tough game. You guys played well. Murray stoned you. But I know that, like, you've been losing a lot lately. You got Matthews. That's a, that's a fun thing. But I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna do something together. So Dr. Brenton, I'm gonna put on my doctor glasses now. They're advanced reading bifocals. I'm prescribing you two of these. We're gonna, we're gonna do them together. You know, there's a lot of anxiety, like that third period would give you guys anxiety and I think Brozac pills are the best thing for it. Side effects include being mistaken as a first line center. Anyway, cheers. Yes, my coffee mug has flowers on it. My girlfriend picked them out, okay? Anyway, lots to cover this game. It was a bit wacky. Uh, Murray kept us in it, but first off, Heinemann scores his second goal. It's two goals in two games for him, and I actually thought he would have scored more because I watched the first few Maple Leaf games, and he's actually been kind of go playing really well. He just hadn't gotten them going in yet. It was a deflection goal. It was right in front of Murray on this weird angle, and it just came off his stick. It went up, and he tried to catch it real quick and just couldn't. And uh, it is 1-0 Leafs. Outside of a Kunitz chance and a Haglund chance, and oh, we'll get to Kunitz this game, by the way. Woo! Uh, it was all Leafs in the first period, really. Despite out shooting Toronto by about 13 shots, I think it was 49 to 36, Toronto, especially in the first period, had the better scoring chances. Murray is the clear-cut starter, if you didn't already know that. He still is yet to lose this year thus far. He's 4-0-0. And he's averaging just above a goal a game, which is insane over four games. The second period rolls around. We get a very early power play. So Penguins get a power play because Frankie Corrado decides to stop a German doing what he wants to do and gets called for interference. Don't stop a German. And by the way, Leaf fans, when did Frankie Corrado start playing again? I see it's his first game. I thought he was just, like, meant for the bench for the entire season. Just gets to travel with the team and just... He's like on an NHL fantasy camp and it's like you can be with the team for the whole year but you can't play, you can't do anything. So why is he allowed to play? Malkin manages to score after Latang shoots it wide uh, and he just sort of stuffs it in. Uh, no real chance for Anderson who had to play very aggressive. Mostly because of a fantastic play Hornquist made and I think it's just really been looked over thus far. Hornquist has it deep in the slot and he really, mo nine times out of ten, everyone's gonna shoot that puck. When you have defenders around you and I, you know, I play hockey, not at a massively high level of course, but I play it and whenever you have the puck in the slot you're like, oh my god I need to shoot it right now. And that's it, you just panic and you shoot it. But he had the presence of mind to put that puck out to Latang who was by himself. Sure the shot went wide, but it was a fantastic play. Despite Latang not being able to bury the puck, uh, it still ended in a goal, and it was really just Hornquist's vision of, instead of making a panic shot, which Anderson really did have, he looked for a better play. Uh, the second period, we gained a lot of momentum. This is where we started really putting pucks on the net uh, before the third period, where it just kind of all went downhill for <laughs> Toronto. Murray still made a couple of great shots. There was two breakaway chances. Uh, Heinemann was involved in both of those. Uh, and in both of those, Latang was involved in both of them, one falling over and one just not really covering his man properly. Uh, and both times Murray bailed us out to keep it at 1-1. Just before the period ends and it's those last minute goals that kill you, Kunitz ends up scoring. Yay, Kunitz is second goal! Speaking of Kunitz, he had an insane game today where he could have put a few away. He had a, a two breakaway chances, had a crazy slap shot that Anderson made this sprawling, insane save. I don't know how goalies don't throw out their backs more when they just reach out like this to make save. Like, I did that just then and heard a pop. Crazy people. Goalies don't have spines. Hashtag no spine. They're also weird. Uh, Kunitz with the puck going everywhere ends up being the one that gets it off. Uh, it, it just sort of, it hits Anderson, but it still ends up going in. It is 2-1 going into the break. Then second intermission, I'm assuming Kunitz went to Rust and said, hey bro, I got one more goal than you. And he was like, oh yeah. I love Brian Rust, by the way. I just love this goal. The fact that he picked up his own rebound, had the presence of mind of, again, instead of panicking in the slot, to just shoot it on as most third and fourth liners do. He held the puck. He went round and 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 found the free space and scored. Crosby gets his third assist of the season, whereas Shiri gets his fifth assist on the season. That's... Yeah, that's a weird one. Try... I'm just looking, does Shiri have 10 goals? Because Crosby does, it's 4-1! Crosby gets the easiest goal he's ever gonna get in his life, really, with it. <laughs> uh, Dumoulin ends up firing the puck, it just kind of... 
trickles onto his dick and he's like, oh, okay, yeah. That'll be $8.7 million, please. I'm joking, he's the best player in the world, but still, that is the easiest goal he's ever gonna score. And that's the way the game stands. Again, I'm gonna mention that Anderson Zane of Kunitz, because that was insane. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did like this video, hit that like button. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content from me. And tell other people about me, because then I get more views, and then I'm like, oh, people love me. Comment down below, Rust or Kunitz? Everyone should say Rust. If you say Kunitz, please unsubscribe. I'm joking, please don't, I don't have many. Thanks guys, see you, bye.